we mentioned, Chuck, our Chuck, who's having a casual Tuesday, is still out at Detroit's East Eastern Market with some things that you might not expect to see. We'll tell you about it coming up next, but the whole family will definitely get a kick out of it. Chuck, what's going on with the goats? Did I hear a <laughs> meh, meh? Uh, well, yeah, actually, they're not as noisy as I thought. They like hay, which is really interesting. We're out at, uh, you know, out at Eastern Market, and this is the place where you find things that are typical and you would enjoy every day, you know, things you need to cook with. And then Amy and John McIntyre and their daughter have a farm up in Pontiac, and they brought a couple of their goats in. This is Amy. Good to see you. Good morning. How are you? This is so wild to be around these guys, and they're the most peaceful little animals. You said the goat is the new dog. Goats are the new dog. <laughs> Absolutely. Tell us about them. Um, well, these are two babies that we have. This is a mini Nubian, and she'll be a full-size dairy goat, and we'll eventually use her milk for our products. Okay, and when you talk about goats, you're using them not only for products, which include what, soap and oil? Soap and lotion, yeah. bath bombs. But then for the future, you look at these guys, and you're also leasing them out to help people with their yard. Yep, we do conservation grazing, where you can rent them to take care of brambles, uh, poison ivy, overgrowth spot, spots in your yard. Yeah. And are they as friendly as they appear all yeah. the time? I mean, to everybody? Yeah, they're super friendly. Yeah. They, well, these guys were all bottle raised, so they're, they see us as their family, um, and they just love to sit around and be scratched. All right, I want to see some of these products. So you should know that um, Amy's company is not producing goat cheese at this moment, just products that you can use around the house. So give us a quick tour here, Amy, of what you've got. Um, we make our lotion, and we make a body soap that has two and a half pounds of milk in every batch, and then our goat milk lotion which is over here um, all of our products nothing has more than seven ingredients and you can pronounce every single one of them yeah. so they're very good for your skin so obviously natural but what is it about goat's milk why are we not hearing about this more often I don't know we should it's not enough we? of it to use um, yeah I mean goat's milk very similar pH to your skin um, there's no preservatives yeah. so you're just putting a natural thing on your skin that's going to encourage its nourishment just wild stuff. Well, it's good to see you. Thank you. Thank you and if, so much. And if I want to have my yard mowed by the guys, how many show up to do the job? Uh, you can do five goats, five days, $500. Is that right? So yeah. you're dealing with acreage sometimes then, not just somebody's front lawn. Right. Right. Yeah. yeah, we can go up to as many as 20 goats. All right. Good to see you. You too. Thank Thanks you so to you much. and your daughter for being here. Uh, Eastern Market is where we are. Jason Tati, if you need a goat, I got a guy. I mean, got I got a, a goat. If you need somebody to do your lawn. Yeah. I got stuck on the beauty products, so when she said the soap, I was looking at that milk and honey version of it. I'm going to have to definitely check her out. Yeah. Good stuff, and it's good there for it your is, skin, right too. There it is, right Yeah. Oh, boy, I'm excited. It's, uh, it smells delightful. Good yeah. stuff. See you guys good in a minute. Stuff. All right. Thanks, Chuck. Uh,